I am I am recently attracted to es esoteric books. It challenges our comfort zones. Indeed, 100%, 100%, right? Uh, one thing I learned about going through centralized indoctrination centers, you know, high school and university and stuff like this, is, uh, man, oh, we don't know shit. <laughs> and they don't know shit. They're just trying to get us... Uh, teach us enough tools so we can function within their systems right that's it that's what i see right that's what i see and i'll tell you one thing about this okay just this thing that says uh it could be higher states of awareness okay just because we're just going to do this reading we're not going to do another reading right um during a vancouver film festival in the early 2000s in the early 2000s or it might have been late 1990s or something whatever early 2000s let's say i went to uh, a korean movie it was in smaller theaters independent theaters and i went to this korean movie and it was a really good movie actually fantastic movie and it was being put on sponsored by the ubc psychiatric department or something like this and i didn't know this i just wanted to go see it, it was a korean movie and it was about a police officer okay I, I don't know the name of this movie if anybody knows this please let us know because i would love to re-watch this movie it was a really good movie uh, and i'm going to give spoilers here my apologies for giving spoilers because that's the only way i can say what this movie is right and get to the punchline of it that's sort of related to this i think so the movie was about a police officer okay korean it was a korean movie police officer that his wife leaves him and he's like a sergeant or something like this he's a detective i guess and he's in charge of murders and solving crimes and whatnot right and he's had a mental breakdown to a certain degree right because he senses things so he goes to a crime scene and he acts out what has taken place and there was one scene where he actually puts himself in a suitcase or doesn't or and falls down the stair rolls himself down the stairs and stuff like this and he actually does things hurts himself in a way that the victim was hurt okay and it gets pretty intense right and all these other korean police officers are looking at him and stuff like this and he solves these crimes he sees these things right he 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 visualizes i can't remember if he sees because i've seen other movies like this but he sees through the eyes of the victim or through the eyes of the perpetrator of the crime or whatever it is but he senses that right he sees it and he solves those crimes okay and he also sees his uh, he interacts with his wife but it's an imaginary wife it, it is his real wife right but it's his perception of what his wife is and his perception of what his wife is and it's, it's, it's imaginary because his wife is not there his wife is a really nice person right in his mind so he talks to his wife and goes home and his wife is there and there's food he eats food and he, he's living a life as if his wife has not left him but his wife has left him so it's an imaginary wife right and there was a scene in there where he actually cuts off his own ear okay so and he hands it over to a superior like i'm giving a serious spoiler here apologies right so this was an amazing movie i love this movie it was great and then when the movie finished you know people clap because it's a film festival and stuff like this and there's little q a after the movie right and one of the head of the psychiatric people uh, professor comes on to the plat podium and starts talking and stuff like this and man i had i had smoked a little bit of cannabis uh going in there i was nice and chill i wasn't into i was by myself i wasn't into confronting anyone i was i would go see at the movie festivals most movies i've seen by myself i'm just going in there to chill right so i wasn't into confronting anyone talking with anyone or anything i just went there to enjoy the movie and this q a started and i just didn't feel like getting up i was really just enjoying the moment right what year was this oh my god this was this would have been in 
early 2000s early 2000s okay i don't know the name of the movie i wish i knew it, it, it would have been around then either late 1990s or early 2000s okay so this is a question for movie buffs out there now this professor got on there and he talked about the movie and stuff like this and one thing he said i was so pissed like all of a sudden my blood pressure rose and i felt like standing up and going you're a fucking idiot right because the guy got up the psychiatrist got up and said you know the movie was like this the movie was like obviously the person was having a mental breakdown and stuff like this uh so what we would do with this type of person we would medicate them right his re response his reply his intervention to this detective solving murders solving crimes by the ability that he has right was to medicate him because obviously he wasn't living in reality and he had a mental disorder right if i had the energy in me at that time i would have got up and say you're a fucking idiot obviously you don't realize that this person has some ability that you do not understand and because you don't understand it you fear it and because you fear it you want to kill it you want to medicate it so fuck you and your profession this is 24 years 20 years after the fact elder god says he found it what is that movie elder god link it up on our gilded server i really want to watch that movie <laughs> where is my gilded link i really want to watch this movie again all right i really want to watch this movie again uh, romanian books I don't know any Romanian books first time chat apologies if I'm not reading uh, the chat gang I want to tell that story a uh, bit of uh, twitching Jason bit of searching and two names that pop up are the chaser and the saw I saw the devil in case either of those sounds ah, they don't sound familiar they don't sound familiar they don't sound familiar padre 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 well said brother I've had practice <laughs> yogi what do you mean he has an ability he had an ability to solve crimes he he would there was no nothing there like that anyone else could find okay and he was able to solve crimes with his ability right it's a hong kong movie it's not a korean movie it's a hong kong movie is it oh man no wonder i <laughs> always thought it was a korean movie because it was a little bit messed up right it's a Hong Kong movie who gang link it up on our gilded server 24 24 years of imagineer arguing in the shower <laughs> it's longer for me brother it's longer for me brother hilarious hilarious right so I I have a serious distaste for the soft sciences to a certain degree all right and pharmaceuticals as you know salute gang salute elder god do you remember the way i do mad detective 2007 that seems a little late no i wouldn't have been that late it had to be earlier 2000s maybe mid 2000s but i don't think it was 2007 is it mad detective mad detective chinese is a 2007 hong kong action film produced and directed by johnny to and wei k fei mad detective was first screened at the 60 uh 64th venice in uh, venice international film festival and later premiered at the 2007 toronto international film festival before being released in hong kong on november uh, 29th 2007 is is it that late was it that late man no wonder i was having a hard time that's what you do with the mind right that's why uh what do you call it uh, uh personal anecdotes in courtrooms don't hold too much sway right i remember it being like this it really doesn't uh it's not evidence really unless you get caught co uh, well not collaboration but cooperate not cooperation but this, multiple people say the same story right 
gang before we get into the reading do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange publishing journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity something that we desperately desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available online salute to julian gang Chai K. Bon is a brilliant detective with a supernatural gift, seeing a person's inner personality or hidden ghost. However, he is forced into retirement after severing his ear and presenting it to his retired boss. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's got to be the one. So 2007, man. Time flies or time doesn't fly. I don't know which way we're going with that one. So 2007, okay okay and it showed at the vancouver film festival or it might have been like a special presentation that university ubc was presenting different types of movies uh, from different departments or something i thought it was a film festival but maybe it was a sponsored university event or something like this very cool elder god do you remember it did you like it did you like it i liked i loved it i thought it was a brilliant movie Really? Yaguli 33. The problem is that doctors usually prescribe medication to hide the symptoms, but it doesn't cure the disease. Indeed. 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 Western doctors are, man, this is my personal opinion. They can kiss my ass, most of them. 99% of them. Right? I've seen them do some horrendous damage to many, many people. Many people. Many people. Family included. Um, yeah, anyway, gang, let's do a reading. The underground bestseller, Irving Oil, Magic, Mysticism, and Modern Medicine, Journal of a Family Physician. 